All right. Well, I got my conversion done. So I'll uh, show it working, then take it apart, show what I did. So here's a regular battery. Both of these are charged at 20, about 20 volts. So I'm going to put a couple screws in here just to hold it together. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see if I got any good. Okay. So I'm just going to take it apart a little slowly there so you can see inside a little bit. All right, so the main thing is this block extension. I didn't want to glue the actual terminal heads in, so I made this extension. Uh, you can see right there out of a piece of this quarter inch plastic I had. Um, so it's notches down into down into right into here. Presses against their bottom, presses against the top of the batteries. Okay, so next is okay, we got this out. Okay, so the tops of this that has these ribs going across and I got these blue marks on here showing basically the um, limits so to keep my wires inside those because uh, there's plenty of if you can see from there, there's actually you know, plenty of room uh, between there and then let's see what else can we get at here all right so the backings where these terminals where the batteries are connected to are made out of this plastic I had from it's from packaging it's being thrown away so it's this quarter inch seems like it might be laminated or something I'm not exactly sure but it's plenty stiff so that's what I used could have used plexiglass as you can see back here I got a piece of plexiglass in there. You might have had to just double it up if I use that, glue it together. Ah, so we got a couple different versions of this because we got different thicknesses here. Um, this is the stationary version in the front and I had to cut a, once I've made it, I had to cut a slot in each side because there's a rib on the edge that it slides right down into and keeps it in place. Uh, there are also these posts here, so it was had to be four to that. Uh, the aft one here, we have a, let's see, a rib in the back right here on each side. So this is pressed against that. This one's a little bit wider. And so it's flexible with these springs against the back. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, so then I'll oh, let me bring up a little sheet of dimensions here. Zoom in a little bit. In. Okay, so the, let's printed this off. So this pattern is from uh, a divider I purchased primarily. This is the plastic offset divider. So that's where this pattern comes from. I'll, I don't know, I think I'll put that on the screen later or something. But so the aft plastic uh, dimensions are shown here. This is in inches. Uh, forward plastic is the rest of the dimensions. It has 
a specific height and then this extension coming up past the top past the top edge here and there's like a ridge that the top sits in so I had to notch that away and I had this coming up farther to press against these ribs probably not necessary these weren't going to move up and down anyway uh, this is the dimensions it's in millimeters 55.25 high and this is the dimensions of the plexiglass piece in the back uh, 38.5 by 40 millimeters uh, the dimensions of this this thing were in millimeters so I just ended up doing half the stuff in millimeters half in inches okay so okay so that's diagram zoom back ouch okay so yeah I'll throw the diagram of this on the screen probably right now or something uh, and then let's see that, that 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 okay so the next thing let's see it would be the battery management so this item actually let me pull out when I There'll be links in the description to all where I bought all these parts and what their names and whatnot are. And I'll throw up the uh, diagram. I got a better thing to show this against. Okay. So this one, based on whether there's resistors here, is either a three, four, or five, I believe, in series. So this is a five in series. And it's got your, well, I'll, you can see it in the diagram anyway, but your main battery posts and then the load over here and then the individual uh, in-betweens. Uh, let's see. So there's, as you can see in the build, there's lots of room in the front half for to put this. I didn't tack everything down. This is more of a proof of concept, basically. I might take these, you know, I would maybe take these down or something and route the wires differently. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of room to get a larger BMS in here. Could even potentially take the whole top of this plastic off and put a larger piece across, just as long as it doesn't hit uh, these plastic ribs on the top. Uh, and of course, I'd probably have to glue the uh, this into the top so I wouldn't need the actual extension. Uh, let's see what's next. BMS. Okay, so the spring tension. So the whole point of this build was not to do welding or soldering on the batteries themselves. So I put springs in. Uh, these are for C-cells. Uh, and all I did was cut them in half, uh, slide them once I was built it, slid it down in there, the half down there, slid it over, slid another one down in there. They actually were exactly the right size for this. So four by four, or two by two. Uh, and then after those two were down in there, slid these in and compressed them. There's a lot of, a lot of spring tension in here. So that's the main reason I did it this way. I didn't want to have soldering or welding or like a clamping force that you'd have with uh, bolting it together. Uh, so let's take apart. Let's take the uh, let's take the batteries out. So one thing I probably could have done was put a tether in here, like you have on other batteries, uh, so you could pull them out easier, but. These are out of a laptop. There's the piece I cut. The out of this is a much larger piece. I had to trim right through the middle of it, just to keep mainly to keep the two top cells in place. Uh, I probably could have added spacers down here, even though I had to grind these ribs away so it would fit. I still would probably need spacers to keep them in 
place. There. So they come up fairly easily and fairly easy to put back in. As you can see there's the the movement and then everything just basically fit really well uh, using these quarter inch thick pieces of plastic. So let's see. So you ever seen the diagrams of how you know the piece of plastic was set up, how these individual uh, connectors, battery contacts were set up. Uh, so these are the main pass-throughs on that side, or the connectors. These are the same. And the ones on the end are obviously for the terminals. I made them longer. They're not obviously the same angle, but I just made them longer so I could get uh, the post in a better position instead of going straight through. Um, let's see. So those I made out of these uh, nickel strips. Uh, these versions, I cut them about, you can barely see this, but they I cut them at like 50 millimeters and bent back 10 millimeters, so it's 30 millimeters wide. And then on the back side here, if you can probably see that mark I had on the back, I then soldered. In this case, I put a 12 gauge, solid 12 gauge wire in the back. Probably could have been 14. And then uh, tacked a little bit. Uh, so this edges wouldn't flop up. Um, but I think they're a little bit too shallow uh, for the, uh, so they're probably interfering with the plastic. I had to move these around when I initially put it together. Obviously this side is fine. Um, I did have a separate set of batteries out of, this is out of a different drill that had an offset or a extension out the negative end, which is, seems a lot more useful, but I don't know. They obviously don't make these type for everything. Most of them are probably all these flat versions. So I had to grind all of the tabs off, even after I cut them. Um, so in this, so obviously I drilled a hole straight through the middle of each one of these tabs. Well, these two tabs, this one was up here. And then the backside soldered the wires on with uh, my in-between wires and heat shrunk them. Um, so I think, and then I bent each of these corners over and put a little bit of, drilled a hole in here and put a little solder so that when I was putting the batteries in, they wouldn't grab these edges and peel it off. So, you know, for a maybe a better design, I probably need to maybe fold these a couple more times, maybe two or three layers, but then I might have a problem uh, when I'm inserting the batteries of it grabbing the edges. Uh, I did look for double terminals or connectors, contacts, um, but they don't make any like this for 18650s. They're all you know, C, A, C cell, D cell. Uh, so I might look into trying to find something that's close anyway. Maybe a version of the double A cell or something. Uh, so for the rest of the build, I left this spacer insulator in the bottom and uh, just to offset everything. So that's the build. Um, in the third video, I'm probably going to do a different version of this and or look at charging. Because right now, I was, obviously, I charge these separately uh, using another device. So I haven't actually tested this BMS under charging or what kind of charger I would actually use. And that is it. So if you have any comments, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll have everything in the description, and if you know anything about battery charging <laughs> uh, or have taken apart 
different chargers, let me know. Thanks.